it'd be sometimes it'd be the men be like, hey, so uh, what's up? Like, you know, what we doing? Like, can we be together? Like, can we talk like a certain way? I know we're not together, but can we talk like we're together to build something? So that conversation is going to come up at some point in time. Unless, like I said, y'all just cool, just kicking it and just doing what y'all doing. and Y'all both just cold hearted and don't care. And y'all still stepping out on each other and still coming back together, acting like y'all together and acting like that. That's 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 high school, man. We grown. We grown. Let's let's be grown. Let's be grown. Situationships, they can suck. They can suck if you allow yourself to get too far deep. And either you're going to get stuck in an unhealthy situation, feeling restricted, and you can't talk to nobody else, you can't do nothing without your partner coming at you wrong about it, coming at you sideways about it, like y'all together. And then your mind's like, we're not even together. What you tripping on me for? If you want to trip like this, you should make me your boyfriend. I only speak from experience. <laughs> I only speak from experience. That's it. But it's true, though. Or you're going to get fed up and you're going to leave. And you're going to find a better situation than the one in which you left. So, also, like we said, a situation ship can be good. If you and your partner establish guidelines, establish a certain level of commitment, even if y'all not together in a relationship. And it may not happen right away. I may kick it and hang out and after a while, it's like, you know what? I'm really feeling you. Like, I'm really feeling you. You know, so are you feeling me the same? I like, I like to talk to you like this. What about you? And see what happens. You know, and then if y'all can establish a, a, a situation ship that leads to building a foundation and getting to know each other better on a more personal level as a person, and then using that foundation to build towards a certain level of commitment, the road of commitment leading to a relationship, and then you establish a full commitment to that person. Like, you know what? We are together. I'm not, I'm not just going to have you walking around out here acting like we together, posting pictures like we together, got your friends thinking we together, got your line sister thinking we together. I don't speak from experience. You know what I'm saying? And we really not together like that. I'm not going to have you out here looking like that. Or she may step to the plate. You know what? You a good man. There's not a lot of men out here like you. Especially at this age in our generation. So I'm going to keep you. I'm going to let you know how serious I am. I want to be committed to you on this level. I want to make you my man. Vice versa, I want to make you my woman. Then that's cool. That's what a situation ship should lead to. That's really dating. But it's 2016 and our whole perception on dating is just flipped upside down. So now it's evolved into a situation ship. That's really dating. So let's just be smart, people. I'm only here to help. I ain't got all the answers. I got some of the answers. And the answers I do have, I only speak from experience. That's it. So, what are you currently doing? The person you talking to, you booed up with, you like, you texting right now. They blowing up your phone, wondering why you ain't texting them back. Because I'm watching this video on Goss's YouTube channel. And he's reading my life. So we got to have a talk after, this, after I watch this video. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to break nobody up. I want to speak from experience. So, my question. What are you currently doing? The person you're pursuing, are y'all pursuing each other equally? Y'all putting in that effort, that time? Are y'all's situationship a foundation builder to lead on a road of commitment? Hopefully, you end up in a relationship. If not, it happens. But at least you have some, some guidelines and you know what you're working towards. You have a goal. Or are you stuck in a situation ship that's not that good or a bad one? When you with somebody and you got this passive, aggressive commitment with somebody, they want to commit to you all just enough. But they playing double dutch with you. You playing double dutch. I'm not athletic. Don't do this. They playing double dutch with you. They got one foot in, they got one foot out. Yeah, I'm committed to you when you're around other people and you got guys in your face trying to talk to you. Oh, that's my girl. That's my girl. Or who they like in your pictures. Or who, they, who, who you tweeting. Yeah, you committed to me all the way then, but when we in private or we in certain situations, or oh, you want to step out with other people, or you want to go do this, that, and the third, do your own thing. 
All right, well, I'm going to do my own thing. That's not healthy to people thinking and acting like that. Come on, let's do better. 2016 is almost over. Going to 17, we got to do better. We got to stick together. More of us, we need more black love. We just need love, period. We need black love. We need white love. We need Hispanic love. We need Asian love. We need all love. Let's just come together and just love each other the right way. Come on. Let's get out these bad, unhealthy situationships that don't do nothing but cause stress and may cause you to miss your blessing of somebody else. Let's get out of those and let's get in at least a situation that can lead to something. Make them commit to you. Go watch Lessons in Loyalty Part 1. Make yourself a priority. If they're not making you a priority and they're treating you like that, they're playing double dutch with you, passive aggressive commitment, they're not making you a priority. Passive aggressive commitment is not me making you a priority 100%. It's not. I make you a priority just enough to keep you around. And to keep this thing going. I know I can come home to you. You at the crib. You ain't going nowhere. Don't, have, don't let nobody have that mindset towards you. My pastor, before he passed away, one point he always used to say, don't let nobody occupy space in your mind and they ain't paying no rent. Once you start paying rent, you can occupy all the space you want. But until you pay some bills in this, you ain't occupy nothing. Don't let people do that to you. Don't let them occupy your mind your space, your emotions, your resources, your intimacy, and they ain't paying no rent. And they want to have passive, aggressive commitment towards you. Don't do that. Don't let them do that. You better than that. Be better than that. Make yourself a priority. So, I don't want to talk your ear off, but I'm just saying. I ain't seen y'all in a minute. So I, I got a lot to get off my chest. I got a lot to say. I miss y'all. So, I'm just saying. Let's end on a good note. Let's get in these situationships that lead to a certain level of commitment to each other that hopefully lead to a prospering relationship. And let's get out of these unhealthy, waste of time, passive aggressive situationships that lead to nowhere. I only speak from experience.